secret number three is hire the right people for you. Jan, this is the thing that we see everyone screw up, right? We, yes. we, we always, we, we, we hire our best friend. We hire our neighbor. We hire our niece. We hire the wrong people. So here's some things. We need to hire someone that it matches your core values and fits your culture and your brand, right? They have to get it. They have to get you, right? And then our admin assistant is our best hire. I mean, it's the first hire. It's the best hire. How, Jen, how many people have we seen hire a, oh, I'm getting really busy. I got to hire a buyer specialist and they have yes. no admin in place, right? Absolutely. Fail. Oh. It's a fail. It's a fail. Epic fail. Absolutely. I mean, I, honestly, uh, if you don't have a transaction coordinator working for you prior to that admin, you're the transaction coordinator, right? So consider hiring a good TC or hiring an admin assistant that really helps you drive your business forward. And then, of course, the, the one of the biggest challenges, and Jan, something you referenced earlier, is that whole job description and expectations. We really don't know what they're going to do for us unless we outline that clearly. And more importantly, they don't know what they're going to do for us when we hire them. And then we look like dum-dums. And honestly, we're going to give you that today free for hanging in here with us as we try to give you these five secrets to, mm -hmm. to owning a profitable team. So mm -hmm. this task procedure guides template, this is gold. You're going to get this completely free. We already have a lot of it completed. It's meant for you to take the way David and I do things, customize it for you, but it's so much more than that. This, this document you're going to get today from us is going to help you build your operations manual for your team. It's going to help you create job descriptions, not only for you, but for anybody that you ultimately want to hire. You may end up having a team that needs two or three people, a marketing specialist, a TC, a listing coordinator, and then your team agents. This document alone is going to help you with that. The other I, think, I think this is one of the better, I've said this several times, I think this is one of the better documents or, or <laughs> systems we've ever written. However, didn't we write this on a plane somewhere yes, from, we did. Uh, from Nashville yes, we did. or Vegas or somewhere like that? Yes, David and I used to get to travel around the country <laughs> coaching mainly team leaders that uh -huh started a franchise for the company right. that we work with. And this is where we developed a lot of the materials that we use ourselves and we use in coaching. So yep. one of the other things you need to do if you're going to build a team is decide on the team model. I, I referenced it a little bit ago. Do you mm -hmm. want to just be a small team? You and an assistant is a team. Do you want to have specialists? Do you want people who, if you're in a big metropolitan area, you might want to have people who specialize. Let's face it. We've gotten in, even in Vegas where David and I are, We've gotten to the place where, oh, gosh, it's on the other side of town and I'm in Green Valley. I'm going to refer to an agent, which is crazy. OK, but you could have and I currently have some of this. I have uh, team members that work in all areas of the of the uh, the whole valley on my team right now with some different specialties. So you've got to think this through as well when you're talking about hiring the right people. Absolutely. Uh, Jan, and one of the principles I believe in is and I, I, I said this earlier was let's be slow to hire and quick to fire. In other words, let's just not hire anybody. Mm -hmm. Let's take our time, vet them. And in fact, our system is incredible. Uh, how we vet our hires, mm -hmm. we make sure we hire the right person. And then if they're not the fit, we move on. Exactly. Also, um, don't hire team agents until your house is in order. Uh, Jan, this is something that you say over and over again, and it, it really is brilliant. If you're a, if you're a team owner, I mean, some of us that have big teams still make this mistake, right? Yes. We hire team agents <laughs> before we have our crap together, right? Mm -hmm. So let's get our stuff together. Let's make sure that, I mean, it's part of our value proposition, but let's make sure all of our systems are in place because when we hire someone and we don't have our stuff together, it's really obvious and they're less successful. So get your house in order first and then make that first hire. Absolutely. Or else they're not going to stay with you, to be honest. That's that's true. That's true.